Ruby, you be Elaine. You're the only one who has golden hair. I couldn't lie there and pretend I was dead. I'd die of fright, honest. You be Elaine, Anne. This is your idea. A red-haired person cannot play the lily maid. Tennyson would never approve. Your complexion's just as fair as Ruby's. And anyway, your hair's darker now than just plain old red. Really? I'd say it's definitely auburn. And that's sort of close to blonde. Well, all right. It isn't authentic. She really looks dead. I'm frightened. Mrs. Lynn says acting is a sin. Ruby, keep quiet. You're spoiling the effect. Besides, this is hundreds of years before Mrs. Lynn was born. Diana, you arrange all of this. It's ridiculous for Elaine to be talking when she's supposed to be dead. All right. Jane, the flowers. Now she's ready. And for gosh sake, smile a little. It says here, Elaine lay as though she smiled. That's better. All right, ladies, let us send her to her watery grave. on her if she stay to look down on Camelot. And at the closing of the day, the broad stream bore her far away. And as the boat head wound along, they heard her singing her last song, the Lady of Shalott. Shirley. What in heck are you doing? Fishing for lake trout. For lake trout. Huh. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> 